Uh, hello, welcome back to this course. Uh, my name is Sanka and I'll be covering like four sections here. The first one is image data. This will be covering uh, the image acquisition itself and the facts that uh, you might know or might not know about the image analysis. And then there is some uh, basic about the color model and dimensions. And there are some about the data and file type. So uh, many of you know about the uh, microscope and then have uh, these uh, method or like equipment has been used to obtain the image and but how these things works is that uh, uh, sometimes it use uh, specific like photon flux parallel and then it's kept uh, like the camera captured uh, uh, the six signals and then you can have the image and the methods it's kind of varied I mean here I put uh, like several like uh, examples the first one is that you can do the imaging uh, manually like capturing with your like own hand or like your camera and then you can set automatically where you can just put a settings there and then program it or like uh, have a camera program and then it will capture uh, the image for you and then sometimes it's just like uh, you need only one image and then sometimes sequentially so uh, or we call it like time series here and then not just in one image but or like with the same or like with, with one kind of signals but also multiple signals or we call it as uh, channels uh, back in the days like uh, if in biology we call cells as the uh, the smallest units in uh, uh, our body but uh, here in the image, pixels are the smallest units. Uh, and um, you can see it here, maybe uh, it's easier to see that uh, uh, as a pixels, uh, you can uh, separate between one and another. And in one bit, they're only like in a, in a uh, gray scale image, you have black and white. And in two bits, then it goes up like has four and three bits so on and um, this is like one of the facts actually that uh, when it comes to image analysis never trust your eyes because uh, when you try to guess or when you know about the image it's actually behave uh, quite different or maybe the same uh, based on the pixels itself and from the pixels that uh, uh, basically an image like consists of may, many, many of uh, pixels and how we know or differ one pixels and another. So this is like the examples that if you take one uh, tiny image here and then you zoom in and then you'll uh, see this uh, enlarged view and you can see like uh, different boxes or uh, pixels there. And from there, uh, how we utilize them is that uh, we transform the pixels into uh, numbers and then put it in these uh, lookup uh, tables. And yeah, and these lookup tables is actually have, a, sometimes they have a bit depth, which different than we can check with here. So what's the bit depth? So uh, it turns, like I said, it turns the uh, pixels into uh, binary digits and it's from actually try to transform from one to and zero into this sets of numbers so here is the example of uh, uh, four bit steps of uh, uh, an image so uh, you can see here that it has ranges from uh, zero to 15 and it uh, has uh, different codes like for instance there's like four zero for zero and then zero zero one as one and so on and basically uh, it's just uh, as a simple words uh, pit depth is just the level of uh, converted a numerical value that you can have in an image and yeah uh, it can go like from four bits to like more uh, bit depths and the more bit depths that you can have uh, a more let's say clear to your uh, for your eyes 
and from the number then you can check uh, how many of the pixels within the same uh, kind of uh, intensity or depth and then you can have the histogram and there now you can like interpret your image better because uh, here is an example that uh, well without any knowledge about your image then you cannot like really guess which one is what you just know that uh, there is a, a bunch of uh, small kind of uh, pixels intensity and then spread some uh, other higher uh, pixels intensities but in some cases like uh, in analyzing droplets there is some like uh, uh, with the low kind of pixels intensity you can I guess that there is some uh, droplets that doesn't have a uh, high or like it doesn't contain something in it and with the uh, higher pixels intensity you can predict that there is something there this is just for an example to distinguish between the empty droplets and the droplets with bacteria and the green one is the droplets with the bacteria and this one the the, the red one is the negative droplets that's just for an example this is the facts uh, about the image analysis so never trust your eyes that the image that look like the same maybe they do have uh, different pixels and there here is the example like uh, one with a 16 bit uh, depth and the other one is just with the 8 bit depth but you can see that they are pretty much the same right but uh, the data are depicted differently with uh, these two different images, you can see that they are different, but they host a similar uh, bit depth. So that's why like you, you can't really uh, trust about uh, your eyes, but uh, when it comes to the data, then you can see that how they behave between one and other images. Now we come to the color model and dimensions. So basically, uh, many images that may you capture with your smartphones or a microscope in this context, they have uh, these kind of images that it comes to the uh, uh, true color imaging. And when it's like we break down this image, then you can have like, for instance, uh, these three types of colors, like red, green, and blue, and when they kind of join together then you can have the actual image but that's uh, one of the example like the other example there is some called uh, these uh, HSV uh, so uh, it comes from the angle uh, radius and then there is this uh, uh, grayscale that uh, that is considered with uh, uh, to construct your image so it's basically it has these uh, three dimensions or like you can rearrange the stuff but uh, uh, basically there's like other uh, true color uh, imaging principles and here's just the examples and you've seen the gray scale as well that scales from the black to white and yeah uh, many images uh, to date that uh, it is consist of uh, at least 256 levels or 8 bits so you can uh, see the image uh, better otherwise then uh, you'll have some blocks and it's kind of maybe you're not preferred to have this one but it's easier for <laughs> image analysis because you can uh, distinguish them uh, better or easier and and this is uh, with the color coded that you can see there uh, there is a drastic change and you can still see the blocks here and then uh, reduce quite uh, here and then you can have a better with a 24 bit depth and yeah here is uh, one of the example uh, about the uh, the bit depths like if it has the uh, eight bits then you uh, multiply with the uh, uh, the channels that you have for instance here there are three channels and the image will host like 256 uh, the power of three so it's around uh, 16 uh, million pixels but uh, yeah this is just uh, about the data and it can be changed with the other like uh, uh, color coded so don't be deceived with the uh, uh, 
with how the image look like uh, but uh, yeah you can you can see it from the data itself and not just about the bit depths and the pixels but also the dimension so basically if you have pixels you can visualize it within like lines in a one dimension and then when you add more uh, dimension for instance like uh, another uh, uh, color here like uh, for a grayscale and then more uh, color coded then you can have a different kind of uh, uh, images with the different colors and then when you want to uh, see within a different space then you could have like a 3d or here we explain it as four dimensional and you can also include a, a temporal or time uh, specific or time bound that uh, uh, how the image behaves in different times or your objects in uh, different times and yeah many more like you can have uh, uh, different coordinates and different uh, try to compare with other stuff in the image so uh, you can uh, get uh, more data about it and when it comes uh, to the uh, image then it's close to the image data like uh, how you want to present your uh, image as a data and usually nowadays like uh, equipment like a microscope it has like uh, these kind of tables that uh, consists of all of the uh, information about your image for instance like what kind of microscope that it used or immersion uh, oil or like uh, the objective itself so it really depends on the uh, software in the uh, microscope but uh, there are some here that uh, you need to understand that uh, these kind of metadata are uh, usually very helpful but if you don't really need it then you don't need to include all of them in your image data uh, otherwise that it will have a huge huge of uh, image data for just one image and yeah there are some here that this kind of uh, important like the image metadata of width, height, and pixels, of course, about the signals. And then uh, there, if it's a time series, then the times, positions, and uh, maybe illumination channel. And there are uh, some other types that you can actually select and then get your actual image data. And the file format, uh, I'm. I don't know why like when I try to uh, search about the, the uh, format that it has these two types the first one is lossy and the second one is lossless so uh, the lossy is that uh, uh, you can save your pixels and also some other data but not in a complete way but in the lossless that uh, it contains everything including all of the metadata there like usually uh, uh, we use these uh, TIFF because uh, it's not that huge, but uh, still like uh, it contains almost everything there. So yeah, um, that's the first sections that uh, cover about the image data. And you've learned about the image acquisitions, the facts that never trust your eyes. And there are some uh, color model and dimensions that you can add within your uh, image data. And then the data and the file type. Mm -hmm.